Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor, your home for math and science videos for the tradesperson. Uh, today we're going to go through trigonometry, specifically the tangent function, and work through a couple examples of that and how that all works uh, goes together. So let's get started. All right, so we start with our triangle. We've got three variables. We have an unknown angle and two of the sides that we do know. First thing we want to do is label the sides, the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse. And in this case, we're dealing with the opposite and the adjacent. If we were to go to our SOHCAHTOA or our trigonometry functions, we'll be dealing with the T, the O, and the A, or the TOA, and that is the tangent function. And that signifies a relationship between the opposite and the adjacent. So, we know the opposite, we know the adjacent, we can just put the numbers into the equation, 16 divided by 23 and we get 0.696. What we're trying to find though is that angle, and the angle is not 0.696. We have to take that number, put it into our calculator, and generate an angle. So, how we do that, we'll take that away, put this over here, We'll bring up our calculator, and what you do is you take the 0.696 and you type it into the calculator. Now, you have to hit in this case, because we're going back to the angle, you have to hit second function, tangent. And when you do that, it'll generate the angle given that number, and that number is a relationship between the two sides. So what you'll get is an angle of 34.8 degrees. Now you can round that to 35 if you want, doesn't matter, that's fine. But in the end of the day, there you go. 35 degrees, a 35 degree angle or a 34.8 degree angle gives you a relationship between the opposite and the adjacent, where one is 16, the other is 23. That's how you use the tangent function. Let's try another example. This one's a little different because we know the angle of 29, and now what we're trying to find, we'll put those up again, we're trying to find the opposite. So, once again, using the tangent function, there you go. But now we have to solve for the opposite, so we have to rearrange that formula to get that. The opposite is equal to the adjacent times the tangent. All right, so let's, let, why don't we move this over here bring up our calculator. Now, the adjacent we already know. The adjacent's 14, so we can put that in right away. The tangent, on the other hand, we got to derive. So you know it's 29 degrees, plug that in, and this is straight old, hit the tangent button. And that'll derive the relationship between the opposite and the adjacent. And it works out to be 0.554. So you replace the tangent down there with the 0.554, and the opposite works out to be 7.76. Okay, so a little different than the first one because we already had the angle. Now we're going to try another example where we also have the angle, and we're going to try and find the adjacent. So name the three sides. Once again, we're going through the tangent put the formula down, and now we have to find the adjacent. So we have to rework the formula, and there you go. So, the opposite we know, and the tangent, I'm not going to use the calculator on this one. You type in 17, 17 degrees, and then hit tangent, and you'll get 0.306. Once again, that's the relationship between the opposite and the adjacent. So your adjacent works out to be 29.41. All right, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I don't know if you've watched them already, but there is one video on cosine and the other on sine. And there's actually an introductory video on the trigonometry. If you want to watch all four, maybe you have, that's great. Hope this helped you guys in your trade studies and for all you trades people out there. Uh, have a good day. I hope to see you back and take care.